saying that, that he wants every player this week to kind of focus on one thing, and, you know, improve one thing. Um, what uh, is there? Has there been one thing that you picked, or, or that you know, one of your position coach picked for you, and, and do you like that strategy uh, in, in general? Yeah, because I mean, I think this this is a week about just improving ourselves. Because obviously, we don't know who we're going to play, so it's always trying to improve ourselves. I think I can just continue to work on my eyes. Uh, make sure I'm communicating with the guys because obviously in the last game we had a lot of scenarios where teams went tempo and empty and we wasn't always on the same page, but that's something I can work on today. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like as a safety, it's always things I work on, working on my tackling, working on taking great angles, uh, working on my eyes in particular and different coverages and things like that, making sure my eyes are always where they need to be so I go out there and play fast and make plays. Kevin, you were here uh, in 2016 when it was Mike Malarkey and you kind of seen the, the progression of uh, you know, the culture that Mike has been building with him and John Robinson trying right. to create the Titan way. How big, how big of the steps have, have been taken and how big, you know, what's next for this con uh, franchise to maybe institute that Titan way and start being known for that? Yeah, what's next is the Super Bowl. I think that, you know, Titan way, you talk, you know, I know people always talk about the Patriot way and things like that. The Patriot way is winning the Super Bowls. So I think we don't have a Titans way until we win the Super Bowl. So I think that's what's next. Obviously, the progression has been from wild card to division to AFC champions and that things like that. So the next thing to accomplish is go out there into the Super Bowl and go win it all. And I think that's the only thing on our mindset uh, this year because I think going to division around to lose is a disappointment for the entire season. Go to the AFC Championship game is a, is a disappointment. Uh, so the only the only thing on our mind is go out there and win a Super Bowl. What, what's the intensity switch like going from regular season to postseason? You remember your first playoff game and what, did it even take you back maybe a little bit at the beginning just how different it was? Yeah, I mean, our first playoff game she talked about was, uh, was that 2017 against the Chiefs. The main thing I remember is that, you know, when we DBs, we used to go out there, we do our footwork drills and things like that. And I mean, it's pretty, it's okay, cries. Fans kind of trickling in. And the playoff game is usually packed out there. Just it, as soon as you hit the field, you see the lights, you feel the atmosphere in the building. The fans are even louder. They're all at, into it. So I was just telling the rookie um, after we played the Texans, I was like, when we get to this playoff game in two weeks, you're going to see the difference in the, in the atmosphere and just the intensity and everything is just going to be heightened up just another level. And guys are going to feel fresh. Regardless if they play in the wild card round or not, you're going to feel like it's a whole new season, like it's week one all over again. How do you guys not get overwhelmed by that? I mean, with, with knowing what's at stake, knowing the pressure, I mean, you got to do your job with that too. Yeah, I mean, I just think that you don't, you don't necessarily got to treat it like a regular game, but don't get too amped up pregame and seeing the crowd. And I mean, obviously we're going to be juiced up because it's going to be a home playoff game. Uh, but, you know, you kind of got to relax and, and take a deep breath when you're going back into the locker and understand that, hey, this is a playoff game, but we play games all year. We don't have to go out here and do nothing crazy, try to be Superman, just do what we do, uh, play together as a defense or as a whole team, and usually we'll go out there and win the game. You mentioned the crowd being excited. How much, you know, here at Nissan Stadium, as a defensive unit, how much right. can their noise and, and, and what they generate, how much can that help you guys? Honestly, I think that's going to be a big factor into this game, uh, especially as the defense that we work on practice this week and next week, uh, to really be communicating, whether we have to signal or do what we have to do, because I think the crowd is going to really be loud. They're going to try to be extremely loud. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we had a home playoff game last year, and it was super loud, too, on third down. So we're definitely going to have to take that into account and make sure we're communicating as loud as we can.